So you, okay, so I shot you for Twisties, Mm -hmm. and then I got to shoot you for Playboy, which was awesome, and then she became Playboy Cyber Girl of the Month, and this is actually when I discovered that Bailey Rain can twerk like no other. Like, you have some serious twerking skills, and I have to say, like, I am so jealous because, like, I cannot twerk, and, like, I would really love to learn to twerk. I feel like my life would be complete if I could twerk properly, and I just, I even took a twerk shop, and I still can't do it. And so, like, when I see you, like, shaking your booty, like, the way you do it, I'm like, how does she do that? It just looks like it takes, like, such serious muscle control, and I just feel like I just, I'm never going to get there. <laughs> you took a twerk shop? I took a twerk. Well, it, she called, well, officially, it was called, like, a pole dancing class. But I call it a twerk shop because I think that sounds better. Okay. You know how they say the... <laughs> and they did teach me how to twerk. <laughs> and you know there's, like, different like... kinds of twerking? There's, like, the salt and pepper where you, like, push your hips forward, and there's, like... The one where you stand and like move your thighs, and there's like there's like several so many different, different ways kinds of to twerking. gyrate. Yeah, I know. Like, it's just it's a whole nother podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say the easiest way to teach a kid how to swim is to just throw them in a lake. Well, yes. Well, you know where I'm from. That's just what they oh, do, okay. and why I'm terrified of water now. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was at um, Australia in Melbourne. Um, I was on stage. They kind of tricked me into this. It was like a, a twerk competition, but I was already on stage as part of the MC thing, mm-hmm. and they just kind of threw me into it, and I didn't know how to twerk. So one of the porn <laughs> girls came up on stage, thousands of people watching me, and just starts moving my hips and teaches me how to twerk in front of all these people, and it was horrifying but it worked <laughs> oh my it gosh worked. i did because <laughs> they honestly, just threw like, me in the water <laughs> you are you are such a great twerker if you, if you guys go to playboy plus and you go and you look yeah, at um, you should check it out. these stuff that bailey and i have shot you'll see <laughs> quite a bit of twerking in the videos thank you holly so I what appreciate kind of twerking it. do you do do you do the hips one or the booty or the i do a little bit or... of everything i think i don't know i've just there. been kind of practicing the standing up stuff. Now, I'm really good at, at the hands and knees twerking. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at the laying down twerking. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you remember um, Jalissa? Was that her oh, name? Yeah. She and I had that little twerk off. Yeah. And she, like, starts laying on the ground yeah. doing the f***ing worm, but mostly just her butt was moving. Yeah. It was, I, I have well, not she's got figured. A butt. Yeah. yeah, she yeah. does. But. So, so for those <laughs> of you who don't know who Jalissa is, it's uh, Jalissa Lynn. She's also um, another playboy model that um i have worked with she's a real sweetheart she's so sweet and she has such a nice booty such and nice i don't butt. know how she twerks that way so i mean holly i'm still learning yeah <laughs> well you know aren't we all aren't we all we're just we're just students of life mm-hmm. students of butt shaking <laughs> <laughs> so um one other thing that we share in common is that we were both featured in a re- recent documentary called hot girls wanted turned on which has had some controversy surrounding it. Not my episode, I'd like to say. Yeah, your episode was My amazing. episode is the oh, good one. Good. Nobody complains about my episode. <laughs> episode one is free from all drama. We never would have seen that coming either. I know, right? I'm just like, thank God. Like, people aren't bitching about my episode. Because all the other ones, people are like pitchforks and like torches well, and shit. Nobody's even like watching it. Like everyone's complaining about it. But I would say sixty percent of the people that are like really upset about it have not even watched it. Well that's the thing so. with social media. I mean the way that like, you know, these whole things like just kind of take on a life of their own, you know, and they just kind of snowball and like everybody jumps on board and mm-hmm. it's just like you know, and people don't do their research and people don't you know, like, know the facts, and they just go off but what one person said. Because, you know, whatever you read on the internet is true, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, you don't actually need to, like, go and, like, research and, like, find out the facts. You oh, know, of course Because, not. like, if someone said it on Twitter, then it must be true. Well, coming to your own conclusions is very difficult. It <laughs> is. It <Yeah>. is. <laughs> but, no, I mean, I, I don't think people are watching your episode, or else they would be like, oh, my God, you know? Yeah. It's not all bad. Like, yeah. you're allowed to hate certain episodes, but still think that this aspect and this aspect were great. Right. Or, you know, you you don't have to hate the entire thing just because yeah. someone tells you to. Like, right. There were fantastic aspects of the series, as well as a few that could have been way better. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I think there was definitely, um, you know, some things that could have been handled with more care. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I know that there were some girls that were upset by certain things, and, you know, that's, that's, that's very unfortunate, you know, and I'm always one to advocate, you know, like, 
um, protecting the girls and, you know, just making them feel like, you know, just, I just want them to have a good experience Mm -hmm. and, and to feel safe. And, and I know that, you know, there was, there was some issues with that, but yeah, I mean, you know, I've just, I had some people kind of come to me and they were like, well, you know, like you should be standing in solidarity, you know, with, with the entire industry, you know, against hot girls wanted because of, you know, what, and I'm not going to go into details and I'm not going to take sides because everybody's got their story and it has nothing to do with me. Um, but you know, like I'm really proud of my episode and I had, should a, be. Yeah. I had a great time. I really liked the producers. I'm going to come out and say it. I really like Rashida Jones. She I'm sorry. Awesome. I know everybody she wants to awesome. like kill me for saying that. Well, your episode was her episode. Right? I know. And that, that was I her th- baby. I, I th- mm-hmm. That was, I think and one she of took the it to only, a festival. I'm pretty sure that that yeah. I don't quote me on this, but I think that might've been the only episode she directed. And now, she was a one. producer for the entire series because, like, her name was on it and, like, she came up with the idea and she did the first Hot Girls Wanted. But in terms of, like, actually being on set and, like, directing an episode, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure mine was the only one that she did. She wasn't on mine. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, so I got to spend time with her and, um, you know, I really liked her. We really jived. We knew some of the same people. We went to, um, you know, high schools near each other. We're about the same age. And she was just a super cool, down to earth girl you know like I just I really dug her so when you know all these people want me to come out and they want me to hate on her because you know they don't like the way certain things were handled I understand their position and and you know and I'm I'm sorry that this unfortunate things happen but I'm not going to be bullied by the court of social media to you know join in with the crowd with pitchforks and torches and you know go on this I hate Rashida Jones bandwagon Mm -hmm. because you know other people had a bad experience. I had a great experience with her. I am proud of my episode. I have no regrets. I'm glad that I did it. And, you know, that's just, that's how I feel about it. And all we can really do is stand by the people we worked with. You know, right. we can't speak for the other producers because no. we didn't work with them. It was kind of an anthology. Right. In a way, like the series, right. where they had separate producers, separate directors. So you and I can sit here and say, you know, we had a great experience because we did. But at the same time, we acknowledge that the other producers were not people we worked with. We can't, we don't know what happened in those other episodes. We can't say we do. 